Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. My first guest this morning, he just completed a bike ride from Emerald Isle, North Carolina to Key West. I don't know about you, but the thought of this just exhausts me. This trip, though, was done to honor the life of his son, Charlie. Charlie was his only son who passed away two years ago from drug and alcohol abuse. Not only was this trip done to honor the life of his son, but it was also done to bring attention to the devastation that alcohol and drugs can cause on a family. Doc, thank you for being here with me this morning. You're welcome, Jenna. Thanks for having me. Are you feeling okay right now? Feeling fine, yeah. <laughs> feeling really good, actually. Feeling fine and mm -hmm. rested. Yes. Doc, I am sure that your son would be very proud of you right now. I think so. Mm -hmm. If he could be here. Now, you decided to take this trip, as I mentioned, to honor the life of your son who passed away just two years ago. Correct. Pretty recent. Mm -hmm. And now, was addiction something that Charlie has always kind of battled in his life? Well, it just hit him at a certain point, mm -hmm. probably about 10 years before his death. And once it took hold, it was there mm -hmm. to stay. So it was, you hear the phrase, the monkey on one's back, and it's... Uh, it just hung around. It was mm -hmm. a constant battle in and out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, why was it so important for you to make this trip, Doc? Well, uh, I'm, uh, given that my son died, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I feel compelled to do whatever I can to try to influence young people to make smart choices mm -hmm. and to not fall victim to the thing that took him. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, there's an organization called CSAP, Coastal Coalition for Substance Abuse Prevention. Um, and uh, under that, there's a subordinate um, affiliated program, and it's another fund that's called the Charlie D. Hooks the Third Youth Leadership Award. And um, so they just recently got some money and hired a director and a media coordinator, and I thought I'd give them their first event. So I made up this bike ride to ride not just a bicycle, but in Key Westian style, a beach cruiser. And I think it's the first time anyone's ever ridden a beach cruiser greater than a thousand miles. <laughs> so we thought that would give it some, you know, some zest. Mm, I can't believe you did it. Did you run into <laughs> a lot of obstacles along the way or was it okay? It was okay. Most of the way it was good to go and it was uh, very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, seeing the beautiful states that I get to travel through from North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, mm -hmm. and Florida, it was spectacular. Taking the old roads, mm -hmm. Highway 17 and A1A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, stopped and met people along the way. And one of the most interesting things about it is how many people are touched by this, this national, international, worldwide issue of addiction. Mm -hmm. And so uh, everywhere I stopped, I would uh, have people come up and want to talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. so. Were you able to talk with families who had also lost a child due to addiction? Um, absolutely. In fact, I pulled up in front of one of the hotels I was staying, and a guy who was working parking cars, who knows me from times when I pull up there on my Harley or in my sports car, mm -hmm. and this time I'm on my beach cruiser. Mm -hmm. And he knew I was coming and he had read about the cause. He had read about it and heard about it on a radio interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he met me, when I pulled up, he immediately came up to me and admitted that he was a recovering person and that he had lost his sister to addiction uh, the year before. Mm -hmm. So that's just one example, but in fact there were many, numerous examples mm -hmm along the way. And this kind of helps, I think, inspire people who have been in that situation. You know, maybe it helps them also want to bring attention to the cause and, and help stop someone else's life from failing. From I, I hope that's the case, and I, th I think you're right. I think it, we've been successful in that regard, I think. Would you say that that's your ultimate goal with doing this? Absolutely. In fact, I'm hoping to grow this Coastal Coalition for Substance Abuse Prevention to cover both coasts, and hopefully maybe in a year or two have riders doing something like, say, you know, maybe from, uh, from uh, Washington to San Diego mm -hmm. and to Mexico mm -hmm. and from Maine to Key West. Mm -hmm. I hope you do this. I hope that you continue to grow this. And I'm actually going to keep you here for just a little bit longer with me. And when we return from these messages, you have to tell me more about this trip and all the challenges that you face because there had to have been a lot. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages.